to meet you, man. How you doing? Nice to meet you. How's it been so far being out here this spring? What have you been adjusting to? Uh, it's actually been great. Um, new, loving the coaching staff, loving everything about the SC. Uh, converging, I mean, it was great. Converting over from JC from, to uh, big time ball. Just, you know, progress. How would you have answered that question week one? Uh, week one, it was uh, it's, it's pretty hard, you know, coming from JC, not really into like more of a condition style. It was more of like go out there and just play, you know. And just coming out here, getting with the coach on like weight um, staff, and just doing great, actually, you know. So, I guess take us through the story how you got here, because you know, you were, at one point, you know, there was some, I guess, some speculation. You were looking at Washington with Coach Sark being up there, and you were, you know, pretty much right under the gun. You got in it before that deadline. So, you know, yeah. did you start getting an interest in SC when Coach Sark got appointed, or you know, what was that process like for you? Uh, I was actually interested in SC. It was actually between SC and Washington at the time, but I was just like going with the best coaching staff. I felt like, you know, what I'm saying that can get me to the next level, and that can. I mean, just producing, man. Like, SC produces some of the greatest. I want to be the next great, you know what I mean? Here with the coaching staff and with everybody, with my team, everything will be good. Has this gone the way you thought it would go? Um, I thought it, I, I actually think it was going good. I actually think it's going the way I wanted it to go to, and um, it's actually going great. What have you learned from some of the older guys on the team as you transition? Uh, I'm talking to Twan. Me and Twan talk a lot, and um, Leonard, we talk a lot. We actually, you know, talk about more of our football stamper and make, uh, making sure that everything you got to do everything right and make sure that you stay buckled down and just do everything right by the books and you'll be good. What's been the hardest thing to pick up about this new system? Uh, fast ball. <laughs> fast ball. <laughs> just the pace. The pace, pace, pace is very fast, but it's during like, you know, what I'm saying throughout these weeks of practices, adjusting to it and getting in shape, so it's it's getting very, very good. You uh, kind of. Looking forward to Leonard getting out there in, in pads and getting a chance to see Leonard up close. Oh, yeah, I'm very, very, very can't wait to see Leonard play. Actually, I, you know, I feel like the more the competition that's out there, the better our team plays, the better we get as a group. So you were you were JC in Arizona, right? Yes, sir. Originally, you were a Florida boy. Yes, sir. So uh, how's it been adjusting to life out on the West Coast? Uh, I feel like the West Coast is the same as that back at home, just not the humidity, you know. Yeah. A little a little windy back at home, but it's cool. A lot of Florida guys on the team, you guys, you know, kind of help keep you at home a little bit. Yeah, it, it does. It, it really does. I don't feel I don't feel too much homesick at all. Really, you know, wouldn't like wouldn't mind going home, but it's 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 cool out here. I like it out here. So what made you decide to go to JC out of high school? Was it academic related or did you just want to get more exposure? Or? Um, coming out of high school, I was actually being, being looked at by a couple of big time schools like Florida State and stuff like that. But I just, uh, during, that, during that time, I wasn't really like buckled down to my academics. So I had to really like go, go through JC and buckle down and understand the process, and understand and just grow as, a, grow as a person and as a football player. I got you. How's it going to feel to be up back on the Coliseum on Saturday? Uh, it's going to feel great. You know, my second time out there, can't wait. Crowd's gonna be crazy. <laughs> you heard anything that the guys been telling you about what it's like to go through a uh, tunnel for a you know, real crowd? Yeah, there? Twan told me. Twan told me he said uh, versus uh, I, well, I want to believe was it? I think it was the Stanford game. Yep. He said he he said he said it was crazy. And he said just walking like walking towards like to the front of the costume, you can feel it. You can feel it in your chest and everything. And just once you step out there, you hear that roar. It's just going crazy and make you want to you know go out there and put just much more effort into it as the crowd is. What do you think? What's that effort that you have to put in? What do you need to work on? Uh, I'm just pretty just getting on, just getting off the ball, and just doing what I gotta do, play as a team, you know, just do what I gotta do to help my team out. Thank you.